Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel, Jurassic Collector here, and today I'm super excited that we have um, some more images of the Natal Jurassic World 2020 Primal Attack line. Now these pictures come out earlier from Jurassic Outpost, so these pictures are all from Jurassic Outpost. Um, I am currently sick, so please excuse my voice if it's a little bit weird or stuffy. That is why. Um, but without any further ado, let's just get straight into um, these images and waste no time. So here we can see, we got this image a few weeks ago of the, um, I, I, can't, I can't read that, control something, I'm not sure, it's control and conquer Carnotaurus, I think. Um, control and conquer Carnotaurus. But then here it is in the final, because that's just a prototype, here it is. Here it is, final inbox. So that is what it should look like um, when it gets released on shelves or um, online. And I have to say, it looks amazing. It looks, I mean, I thought the 2018 kind of tours from Mattel looked good, but this looks so much better. Like, I didn't think they could make that better, but it looks so much better. We can see it is a lighter, kind of orange, ambery, red color color um, and it has some like darker I guess maroon on its back but it looks like it has underneath white kind of off white spray painted on which looks amazing the teeth look great um, and then it has some like more of this color here but it looks to be spray painted on and I love that it makes it look so much better than just kind of like you know painted properly and I think spray paint makes these dinosaurs look a lot more realistic and it does make sounds um because you all of I think the majority of this primal attack line it they can be controlled with uh, the tail so when you move the tail down the figure bends down and it like roars and stuff so that sounds amazing I haven't seen it in action yet but I can't wait to actually get my hands on these and test them out and stuff um, so I'm super happy that we are getting a Carnotaurus that is making sounds. So that is the control and conquer to Carnotaurus. I believe this is going to be $29.99. I'm pretty sure that's the MSRP, MSRRP, I think it's called, um, on Jurassic Outpost. I think it said $29.99. Um, but that looks great. Next up here we have the uh, Massive Biters Tarbosaurus. Now this is a new addition to the Jurassic line. We've never had one of these before. And I have to say, this was these were released a few weeks ago, this image, but here's um, an image we never got before. So you can see it there in the box. That's the final uh, pro that's the final figure, sorry, and then there's the prototype. I do really like it. It kind of I don't know, it looks doesn't look like something maybe out of the Mattel line though. It kind of looks maybe Chap May-ish a little bit. And um, that's not a, a you know like shade or anything. I think it looks good, um, and I definitely want it. Um, so I'm gonna be getting it. Um, but I just think it looks a little bit different. Which you know different is good sometimes. But this packaging, I'm sorry, but can we just admire this packaging? Mattel nailed it. Um, unfortunately, we have Owen on the package again. So if you just disregard him, everything else in this package is just almost perfect. And um, we can see the background is amazing there. We have some like gates, and then we have it's kind of like hills, but it's like the sun setting. But it just looks so Jurassic, and it's it's just amazing. The Dino Rivals packaging, you know, Fallen Kingdom the packaging was nice. I liked that. Dino Rivals packaging wasn't my favorite. I just called it very basic, and I just didn't think it looked that great. But this um, primal attack packaging looks amazing, and, and we can see again it has, um, you can control it to, through the tail, but this one doesn't make any sounds, this one just has like uh, action features. We can see there is the prototype, but on the final product the toenails don't uh, appear to be painted, which is a shame. I really, really hope that by the time they actually send out them to the store and to the online stores that the toenails are actually painted because if not that is a bummer because this is a $20 figure so it is like the mega duel attacks and the action attacks so they are all their toenails are painted on the like super mimus and the kind of and um, so I do hope they do fix that toenail paint but um, other than that I really do like that figure Next up, we have the Soundstrike Triceratops. Now, this figure is... I was hoping that we would get... Um, a, and I, not just me, a lot 
of people were hoping we would get a larger Triceratops, but unfortunately it's not looking like that so far. Um, at least for now anyways, unless we get another reveal later on in the year, but for now we, we're not getting a larger Triceratops. Um, this is a Soundstrike figure, so it's $15, so it is, of course, going to be the same size as the other $15 Triceratops. Um, it's not going to be any bigger. It's exact remold um, of the, what's the dual attack uh, green and uh, grey Triceratops. Both of them, it's just a remold. Um, maybe they're just like remold the detail a little bit so that the action feature can work and um, it does appear here and you can see it's very blurry when I zoom in a lot I'm sorry but this is the highest res images I could get it appears that when you move the tail the head like goes to like a 90 degree angle like this way so the head will like come down here which I don't know I'm not sure if that's the way it works or what but it makes sounds so that's what I'm really excited about because I love my dinosaurs to make sounds because I think that just makes them so much better than you know the dual attack line for this year and the I just I liked it but I just wished the figures instead of having that tail attack I didn't think that tail attack you know it was very like the springs weren't strong or anything so it wasn't like knocking anything over so I do prefer you know the head strike and then the sounds I think that looks uh, it just works better for me. We can see then a prototype of it, and then there it is. Final. Uh, we can see it's like green and has some white on its head. We have more green here, and then like brown, and then that's it. And then underneath, it appears to have like white. Will I be picking this up? I'm not sure if I see more final images. I do like Triceratops, so I probably will just end up getting it anyways. And I love that packaging. Next up, we have one that I'm surprised by. And um, I really, I really like this Pteranodon. It's I don't know why. Some people don't like it. Some people do. Me personally, I like the look of it. I think it looks good. Like I, I do. Um, we can see it has two buttons on its back, like its dual attack 2019 counterpart. But it makes sounds because it is Sound Strike. Um, we can see. I don't know. In this picture, it shows that the head's moving or the mouth's moving. I'm not sure. Um, but the wings, I presume, also move this back button, so that's awesome that we're getting that. And also, I just want to note, the wings obviously fold out like the, all the other ones, but here we can see some like odd line, and I don't know what that is. I just noticed that straight away when I saw these images. I was like, what is that for? So I can't wait to see what that does, because it does, it's obviously something different, because I have my... Um, 2018 War of War one here, and it's the same sculpt for the most part, but um, it doesn't have that like extra piece there that's like protruding out here, because the last one the hinges is underneath the hands here, whereas this has an extra bit sticking out. So maybe it's so that I can have a bit of a larger wingspan. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know, but I think this one looks great. So we can see the figure is. It does make sense there, and that packaging again, it's just amazing, Jurassic feeling. Um, we can see the figure that looks kind of brown, and then at the feet, they look like they have a darker brown or black spray painted on them, and then on the wings and on the body, we can see some like green kind of spray paint pattern on, and I think that looks good. For me, I think it looks really good. Um, and obviously, you know, I will hold all judgment until I get them in hands, but I, I like it for the most part for what I'm seeing here. And then here's the prototype image. We can't see much here except the head. So the head is a, it has the dual attack 2019 head and not the Roar of War one because the Roar of War one had it kind of straight crest where this is kind of curved, which I um, really like. Next up we have this, I think this, is this the Postosuchus or something? I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it's called. Um, this looks great. I believe this will be a Savage Strike, so 9.99. Um, sorry, that Pteranodon here, that will be fourteen ninety nine, like the Triceratops, both of them sound strikes. Uh, they'll be fourteen ninety nine. But here is this, this is, I think it's called Postosuchus, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it. But um, this is a part of the Savage Strike line, I believe. Um, we can see it looks really good, but it looks so incredibly similar to the Attack Pack Mosasaurus that was released. Um, earlier on this year, I haven't got my hands on that yet because it still hasn't been released here. But it looks the color scheme is just almost identical. Like you have that same similar color eye, the body looks like it's molded in the same color, and then you have the stripes in the same color, and then you have white underneath. So it, it looks very similar to that. Um, for this particular species, I would have preferred like a maybe a dark green or brown kind of color. 
this blue isn't really working for me. The sculpt though looks amazing. I'm definitely gonna pick this up, but the sculpt looks amazing, but it's just that color scheme that's gonna throw me off a little bit. Um, so I would wish it was kind of repainted a little bit darker green or something. Then here is this species, I've no clue of its name, I'm not even going to try and attempt it. Um, but this looks cool, it looks different, it kind of looks something like out of the, um, th and this is not a criticism or shade, I'm just like giving my full honest opinion, I'm going to pick it up. Um, but it kind of looks like something out of the Jurassic Play School line. Do you, do you guys get where I'm coming from? From Mattel, like it looks like something similar from that. Um, I think maybe the colour scheme similar to the Carnotaurus from the Imagine X line. Um, not the play school line, I think it's the play school, sorry, the Imagine X line. I think it's such a similar colour scheme to that kind of door, so maybe that's why I'm getting vibes from that. But the sculpt looks great. And it is a Savage Strike, so 999, you can see there, um, when you move the tail, it looks to have like one, two, three different points of movement there. So this part moves, and then like, maybe you have some head articulation, I'm not sure what that point there is. Maybe it's just a connecting point. But the body, middle part of the body moves, so that's really cool, and it's something different that we've never gotten before. It has like big horns here on its, or spikes on its back and on its side, and it's very reminiscent of the Minmi, but it is a little bit different, and I love that. I think it looks really cool. It looks a bit like the Ankylosaurus, and then here we have a green Velociraptor. I think this looks amazing. I really, really like it. It is a resculpt of, or sorry, a repaint of the Savage Strike blue but the in this uh, sculpt and I love that uh, Savage like uh, blue sculpt so I'm super happy and um, you know we're getting a repaint of it and I like that sculpt so I'm not going to complain about this one I really do uh, like it. it has a button on the back and then the arms like have a striking action but we can see there this paint scheme I'm really liking it's like this kind of lime green and then underneath it has a cream and then it looks like on the head and to there maybe has some like dark gray paint and then the toe claws are painted now if i'm correct don't quote me on this but i think this is the velociraptor that we saw in the teaser for camp cretaceous i think that was a green raptor i'm not sure i can't pull it up on my computer but i think it looks similar enough to that at least i'm trying to get off my phone here um camp, no I can't find images, but I think that is what it's supposed to be. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on it, as I said, but um, I think it is supposed to be that raptor. Then here we have a Savage Strike again, so again, 989. It is a Pachycephalosaurus. Now, for me personally, this is not my cup of tea. I think it looks, uh, you know, it's just not. It's the third repaint of this Pachycephalosaurus we've got. Um, the underneath looks like Mountain Dew, and then this like orange color, and it just isn't working for me. Um, but I mean, sh some people will like it, I'm sure. It's not that I hate it; I just don't. I'm not gonna pick it. It doesn't interest me, so I probably won't pick it up. Um, I didn't like the 2019 pack of the source either, and I didn't get that because you know I didn't really like it. But uh, it was definitely better than this. This is not amazing looking. The paint job on it, but it could be from Camp Cretaceous, so maybe you know, Mattel God from that, so I don't know, but it's just not my cup of tea. Now here are the attack packs, I'm not sure if these are all the attack packs for 2020 or there's more to come, but um, we have a repack of the uh, Green Horosaurus, I like that figure and I like that paint job, so I'm not mad about that. Then we have a repaint of the Ramphorhynchus, and I think this repaint looks really, really good. Um, I know the Jurassic Park Post logo is kind of in the way a little bit, but you can still see it. Um, I love this sculpt. I had it, but I don't have it anymore because my dog ate it. So like, I'm kind of mad about that. So I do need another Ramphorhynchus, and I think this looks great. And I love this paint scheme. I think it looks really, really cool. Then we have the Minmi attack pack. I'm not a huge fan of this repaint. This and the um, whatever the last one was, I forget. Uh, what was the last one actually? Yeah, this pack of source and this Minmi are like my least two favorite of this entire reveals because. I don't know, they just, it just doesn't look amazing. It's not my cup of tea, but I'm sure some people will love it. It's just like red and then it has some white spikes. I prefer the original one, personally. And then we have this species, which I do not know what it's called. I've never seen it before, but it looks amazing. It looks so cool for an attack pack. Like, I'm just mind blown, honestly. So these are all $7.99 in the US. So... You know, it just looks really, really cool. It has like this dark brown and then it has white paint underneath and then it has some yellow on the head and we have some cream on the top of the body and then the legs. 
and then we can see it appears there's a little bit more paint down at the end of the tail um, and I think this looks really really cool as like a long neck and it just looks like a really unique species I'm super happy about that definitely will be picking that up and I love what Mattel did with that then we have a Draco Rex repaint this is the third Draco Rex repaint and I actually really like this I think it looks really good we have like this cream for the base figure um, underneath and then it goes to this like lime green and then we've I think it looks like darker green on its back and then the spikes are painted like a uh, kind of yellowy cream and I think this looks good so I probably will be picking that up and then we have this species which is I believe this is an iguanodon I think I thought iguanodon was bigger than um sorry my chair is not my desk I thought iguanodon was bigger than a attack pack species but I guess I'm wrong um this is very I have it here my destructosaurs uh, blue velociraptor this looks very similar to that paint scheme except the gold um, and I'm liking it I think it looks cool it has we can see articulation there and in the arms the legs and the tail looks have some articulation there but um, I didn't think that this would be a um, attack pack I didn't realize that Guanada was that small I'm gonna have to do more research on that but I don't know it must be in that size range because Mattel never really does now with the size so um, here is then a protoceratops it's just all these names I'm trying to remember I think it's a protoceratops <laughs> This is just a straight up repack from 2018. But I like that figure and I like that paint job, so it's not too bad. Here's the Battle Damage 2020 um, lineup. So it's just a repack of the Stiggy, and then we have a new trike here, which looks um, questionable to me. Um, it's very bright orange with red and like more darker maroon and orange on its back, and I don't know. I'm not loving it, but I'm not, I don't know, I just, it's not my cup of tea, exactly, but when I see it, you know, like, on, sh I, like, we don't get bad damage in Ireland, so I'd have to order it, but when people get it in hand, I'll look at pictures and hold my judgement until then, but, um, here's this grey raptor, and I actually really like this, it looks very similar to, um, uh, custom edit I did a few months ago on my Instagram page and um, Jurassic underscore collector underscore official if you haven't checked that out yet and you would like to and um, I did one that looks very similar to this <laughs> a custom um, edit so I don't know it looks I think it looks cool I love the battle damage and um, Raptor sculpt I do hope though that they put like a cream underneath it or something because it just looks too bland as it is so they definitely need to do that and they definitely need to paint at least the toe claws anyways but overall I'm liking that and then we have this species which I don't know what it is but I'm getting this one way or another these, these aren't released in Ireland battle damage but I will order this because this looks so incredibly cool I don't know what it is it looks very similar to the Metriacanthosaurus but it's obviously not Metriacanthosaurus it's a different species altogether but it just looks so cool with the battle damage door I love the paint job it's like a kind of cream and then we have like mossy green and it just looks really really good so I definitely want to get my hands on that one and then next up I can't um, I'm trying to move it like I, I do like especially these two so I definitely want to get my hands on them and next up we have we're not going to be spending too much time on these we're just going to quickly push over them so we have a um, Stegoceratops I think it's called isn't it Stegoceratops no it's, that's not Stegoceratops pa a Sinoceratops sorry so uh, then we have a re-release of the Spinosaurus Mini. Then we have a repaint of the Parasaurolophus Mini. I think that's a repaint. I don't know. Maybe the original one was that color. I'm not sure. Then we have the Brachiosaurus. But that was only released in the Target 5 pack. So it's good to see that that's getting released in an individual pack. Then we have that po Postal Sucus, I think it's called. Or maybe it's not. I'm not sure what that's called. But it's that one we looked at earlier, the Savage Strike. But this is just the mini version. And then we have a mini version of the Control and Conquer Carnotaurus. Then we have the basic six inch line. This has not been released in Ireland either. Um, I would like to get these, but they're not, you know, I haven't been released here. Um, here we have a repack of Owen, then we have a repack of Blue. This Raptor was supposed to come out in 2018, or 2019, sorry, but I don't think it's been spotted yet, so maybe it'll come out next year. Then we have the book T-Rex from The Lost World, and this looks really cool. Um, I think that looks really cool, so I definitely want to get that. And then we can see a mini Indominus Rex in the 6 inch line. I think this is great for people who cannot afford the destroying the Viral Indominus Rex because you know it's big and it's awesome, but it is a 
bigger price point that this would have so I think that's awesome of Mattel to do that for people who cannot uh, get their hands on that larger one then here we have the 12 inch line uh, this is a repack that dial off source is a repack the interrupters a repack and um, this blue all these four are repacks from 2018 to 2019 and then this is new it's a pro ceratops which has been revealed that was released earlier on in the year in a basic other it was like a white kind of color scheme but now it's been repainted but i think something here that's really amazing is that for you guys in like you know different countries that the spinosaurus never got to you can get the legacy spinosaurus you know it's similar enough it's obviously just not like biting feature and the teeth aren't painted it's not a, probably won't be as detailed but I think it's awesome that Mattel done this for those who weren't able to get their hands on that and um, because you know Target or to import it cost a fortune so I think it's awesome that Mattel is doing a basic spine source in that color scheme so um, for you guys who weren't able to get that and really missed out and I really wanted it that is your opportunity now to get one for a very um it should be like very inexpensive um, and it looks great and that look that pro startup looks great as well so next up I can't move next I don't know why my computer is like glitching out here if I zoom out there we go and um, here is the masks this is a real release I'm not sure if this t-rex has been released before I'm not a collector of these masks they don't have them in Ireland but I wouldn't probably get them these are for like younger kids who want to like dress up and stuff um, so it's like a book rex mask and then this one looks really cool I'm not sure what it, it, it's probably it looks like a raptor um, and I think that looks cool. I'd like to see a raptor for like the Savage Strike line in that paint scheme or attack pack line. And then we have our Snap Squad. I love the Snap Squad. I think they're really cool. Um, this T-Rex, that's a repack. That's a repack. And that's a repack. But all of these four are completely new. So we've a Baryonyx. We've another Dilophosaurus repainted. We have a um, Mosasaurus and Spinosaurus. So I'm super excited for especially these three. The Baryonyx, the Mosasaurus and the Spinosaurus, they look great. Now, this is probably one of my favorite, if not favorite reveals of this whole video. The Sarosuchus, I believe it's called, and it it's so amazingly cool. It's just really, really cool. Um, it is a part of the, well, it's the same uh, assortment as the, I think it's called Massive Buyers. So this will be $20, so it's gonna be a larger figure. Um, and it's just a it's not a dinosaur it's a prehistoric uh, animal but it's so amazing that Mattel is doing prehistoric animals and not just dinosaurs so I'm super happy that they're expanding and doing these and um, I think that looks great you know we have some like green and then like kind of maroon on top and it just looks um really really cool I love the sculpt on it the detail looks amazing then here is a soundstrike Krylophosaurus I'll definitely be picking the Sarosuchus up though uh, we have Soundstrike Krylophosaurus. It's like there's the prototype and then there's the actual um, inbox image one. The prototype doesn't look as. I mean, I kind of prefer the prototype because it's like a darker yellow, and I think I prefer the darker yellow than this bright yellow, but I'm not sure. I'll hold all judgment off until I get it in hand. But um, I definitely do want this. I think it looks a bit cartoon. Uh, cartoony and stylized though um but i will hold judgment off until like people have them in hand so we can see better pictures of them but it's like yellow and it has like this dark gray and then on the top there you have like a kind of coral uh kind of color on the top and it, it looks nice and it's a savage strike so it's gonna have sound which i like and then i think this is the last image um, the sound strike at Montosaurus. Now I really wish there was like an image for like that, like in box for this one, but unfortunately it's not. But this will be fourteen ninety nine, like the other sound uh, sound strikes. I just think this looks great. Um, I was really this was one of the ones I was really looking forward to the most. And again, like all the other sound strikes, this can be controlled through its tail. So when you move the tail, it has some action feature and makes sounds. And I'm super excited for this one. This is last show out of the 2019 reveals uh, last year I was really excited for the Parasaurolophus but this this year is like the Parasaurolophus um, but it's the Edmontosaurus and I just cannot wait to get my hands on this figure the sculpt looks great it's very uh, similar to the Parasaurolophus but it's a completely new sculpt but um, I think it looks so great I love the paint job it's like brown and then we have some like black kind of going through it there and 
the tail is just all black with this black pattern in coming on into the front arms then we have some more black pattern on the head and then we've blue and ye uh, yellow and I think this just looks amazing and this is definitely my favorite reveal out of all of these I have loved most of these reveals for 2020 from the Primal Attack line thus far but this is by far my favorite um, it will be $14.99, so like 25 euros here, but it looks so great and I just cannot wait to get my hands on it. So you control it through the tail here and the head moves, I believe, and it will make sounds. So I'm super excited to get this. So um, that's it for the video. Um, <coughs> did you like it uh, or uh, do you like the reveals that... Uh, of the Primal Attack line for 2020 or not. Um, personally, I like the majority of them, especially this end Montessori, so I cannot wait to get my hands on this. So the toe claws look painted as well, so I'm super excited that they've painted the toe claws. So thank you for watching <coughs> this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, will you be picking any of these up? So um, until next time, peace out. Rawr.